One of the biggest challenges an architectural photographer faces when shooting any in interior is how to control the amount of light coming in through a building's windows. This challenge can also depend on the amount of windows and how large or small they are. In the HDR tutorial, I discuss how the camera has a limited range of light that it can capture from white to black that is far less than what our eyes can see. So our eyes might be able to see detail in the interior and detail through the window to the outside, but the camera does not have that ability. In order to compensate for this, there are a few things the photographer can do. In this first example, notice how blown out the exterior is rendered through the window when I expose for the interior of the home. In the next image, I have exposed for the exterior, but now the interior is too dark. I could try to combine these exposures, but the range of light is so great that it will be almost impossible to create a natural looking image. The first solution to this prob problem, which works during daylight hours when the sun is illuminating the interior of the space, is to increase the light in the interior so that it matches or at least comes close to that of the exterior. It is a good idea to allow the exterior to be a bit brighter than the interior to keep the image looking natural. In this image, two large strobes have been positioned in the room, one to the right of the camera and one to the back left of the interior space. The strobes have been fitted with two large umbrellas to broaden and soften the light source as much as possible. Because of this increase in light in the interior, it makes it possible to have some detail through the windows out to the exterior while still seeing detail in the interior. In this next example, notice again that when an exposure is made for the interior, the windows are blown out and overexposed. A second way to compensate for this is to just wait until the exterior light has decreased enough to allow detail to be seen through the window. This time of day is known as dusk, but can also be captured in the early morning at dawn. This allows the photographer two opportunities to capture this type of lighting throughout the day. However, the ability to shoot during this time is short as the sun transitions fairly quickly before the conditions are either too bright or too dark to shoot. Timing is key when shooting at dusk and dawn, and you should anticipate when the sun will begin to rise or set. When shooting with either of these techniques, the photographer should consider which works best for the shooting situation, and more importantly, which provides the feel that is needed in the photograph, as both give a unique look to an interior space.